Welcome back to the Beehive Blitz. The Davis Darts are the highest scoring team in the entire state, <laughs> averaging almost 47 points per game. Yeah, but you know Region 1 play is going to be a lot tougher sledding for them. 4-1 Darts taking on the 4-1 Weber team tonight. What a game this was. The reverse. Tyson Baggett takes the pitch, scores Ooh. from 13 yards out. The Darts go out on top. But the Warriors reach into their own bag of tricks, come up with a reverse flea flicker. Quarterback crew, Kutch Carne to Tyler Payne, down to the two-yard line. That sets up Dyson Parker from a yard out, and Weaver ties this game up. Parker with three touchdowns. The Warriors looking for more, but Kutch Carney's pass. Going to be picked off by Bodie Sparrow. He takes it back deep into Weaver territory. And Davis capitalizes on the turnover. Trajan Bessinger to Tyson Baggett. His second touchdown of the game as Davis retakes the lead. And the final score, 39-37. Close on Bessinger with only two touchdown passes. He has a, usually has a lot more for the darts. Yeah, but they get the win. Leighton High trying to stay in the region run title race, hosting Fremont. The Lancers with the ball. Quarterback Madden Sargent to Michael Marriott. Pick up a 10, gets the first down. A few plays later, Marriott takes it in from two yards out. The Lancers jump out on top. Fremont trying to get something going on offense. Pitch it to Owen Simpkins. He fights through a tackle and picks up the first down but the Silver Wolves well they can't do anything with it that Leighton defense just swarming to the ball and this one turned into an absolute defensive battle the final score 15 to 7 wow. Salisi Moa with two touchdown catches for the Silver Wolves last week Dana Brighton got shut out Bengals trying to get back on track tonight at Skyline the Bengals come out roaring Rice Palapoy back to pass connects with Mason Hartle and he does the rest. Gets down the sideline, takes a 27 yards, touchdown, it's 7-0. Second quarter, Palapoy again. This time he finds Sam Stores, And he goes 38 yards. That's a touchdown. That made it 14-0. Then the defense stepped up. Anthony Salazar's pass gets picked off by William Little. Little with the big INT there. The Bengals turn that turnover into points. Hartle takes the handoff, goes untouched into the end zone. Brighton cruises to the easy victory on the road. 42 to nothing. Palapoy with four touchdown passes for the Bengals. A beat down there by the Bengals. Staying in Region 6, we got Alta and Highland tonight. Hawks kicker Jack McAllister, about a 51-yard field goal, and he had plenty to spare. Give it up for the kickers. 3-0 Alta, Highland on the march, but Cole Albrecht, forces the fumble. Mason Taula pounces on it. Alta takes over. They go on a drive, get it down to the one yard line, but on fourth and goal, the Rams stuff them. Highland takes over at the one, but just two plays later. Highland quarterback Manasa Pele, look at this play. His pass is tipped oh. and caught out of midair oh. by Riker so Ellis. Alta gets it back and Tucker Brown, he finds Evan Morton for the three yard touchdown. Alta up 10-3 at the half. The final score, 31 to 10. Nolan Lonis added two touchdown runs for the Hawks. Nice. Hey, next up, Bingham High with the Miners. Welcome in Copper Hills. The Miners were up 3 0. Went to 5 0 after the Grizzly snap on the punt. Goes two high scores uh -oh. out of the end zone for the safety. Second quarter. Bingham with the ball. They give it to Lincoln Tahi. He has some room. He has some speed. And he takes it 40 yards to the end zone. That's a touchdown. Bingham still in the second. The Grizzlies back to pass. The pass is too high and it goes right to Charger Doty. He takes off the other way. Big return on the interception. He finally gets knocked out at the four yard line. You and can't down see in it, front. But trust me, a few plays later, Tahi scores again as Bingham gets the victory at home, beating Copper Hills 35 14. Lincoln Tahi with those two touchdowns on the ground for the Miners. All right, let's head to St. George for a Region 9 showdown between Snow Canyon and Crimson Cliffs. The Mustangs jump out on top. Van Daly goes untouched from five yards out. 7 0. Cliffs. Snow Canyon having some problems on offense. Look at the snap. Doink right into the hands of Max Griffiths. The Mustangs take over. They go on a drive. Quarterback Ryder Sherratt going downfield for Malachi Alafipo. Oh, sweet grab. Gets a foot down. Pick up a 25. That sets up Sherratt swinging it over to Jackson Holt. And he bounces off a tackler and stumbles into the end zone. Crimson Cliffs was up 21 at the half and they cruise by the final of 
35-0. Ryder Sherratt, two touchdowns for the Mustangs. And in case you're wondering, Springville won its game tonight. I know you're wondering. I was wondering. We've got more games to cover here on the Beehive Blitz. <laughs> That's right. We're going to go see if Park City can improve to 6-0, but they got a tough game from the Stansberry Stallions. More Blitz coming up.